Hey guys, I'm Brian. And I'm Metna, and we're here with Red Box Harbor at the Pasadena Strawberry Festival. So guys, can you tell us your name, your age, and your role in the band? Well, I'm Mark, I'm 20, and I play bass. I'm Zach, uh, I play drums, and I'm 20. I'm uh, Jeremiah, and I play guitar and sing, and I'm also 20. Alright, so how would you guys describe y'all's music, and how does y'all's band differ from other bands? Oh, that's a good one. Um, well, we're kind of like an indie pop. It's, you know, kind of got like a little indie feel to it, but, you know, we're still bringing in kind of the mainstream pop feel. Um, as far as how we're different from other bands... We're just different people. Yeah, yeah. In, in, in general. general. We have different outlooks, we have experience different life being, you know, and that's just kind of what we try to express in our music. It's just the different experiences. Alright, cool. Okay, so we were kind of creeping on y'all's Twitter, hey, kind of. It's okay. And you guys were in New Mexico recently, yeah, yep. so how was that? I mean, you know, Super awesome. New Mexico was a lot of fun. It was a blur, uh, but uh, other than that, it was a lot of fun. We, <laughs> we had a, a whole lot of fun. Um, we shot uh, three music videos, actually. Uh, not this week, but next week we're actually going to be shooting another one in Houston. Mm -hmm. uh, with our, one of our really good friends, his name's Ryan Valdez. Uh, he shoots a lot of music videos, does a lot of um, directing and all that for uh, small indie films and stuff like that. So, super cool guy, at Raldez on Twitter, R-A-L-D-E-Z, you can follow him. Awesome guy. So you guys are doing an interview Texas show with Avion Rowe and The Background. So can you guys tell us something about that? Uh, the guys in The Background are some of our really good friends. Um, we've been playing quite a few shows with them recently. We played a show at South by Southwest with them. Um, we also played one in Bryan. That was a lot of fun. Um, Avi and Ro, uh, they used to be called Red Car Wire. I was obsessed with them. They were good. <laughs> I was fanboyed over them. It's crazy. <laughs> and then um, they got on the bill as well. So they'll be headlining. Uh, it's three shows. We'll play one in Denton, uh, one in Dallas, and then one in Houston. Uh, go to our Facebook and get those dates. Uh, I don't remember them off the top of my head. Uh, but those will be some great shows. And then we'll follow up with the background uh, on June 1st and play in Arlington at Six Flags. And then uh, the 8th at uh, Bryan College Station. Okay, so if you guys could go on tour with anyone, who would you guys go on tour with? No. no, no, no. <laughs> Yeah, dead too. Dead too. Yeah. Dead or alive? Johnny Cash and Elvis Presley. Man, yeah. that, would, that would be sad, yeah, dude. That'd be dope. Maybe uh, some uh, recent uh, people though. Justin Bieber. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, no, a lot of bands. A lot of the band probably. Yeah, that'd be really. Yeah, cool. well, they kind of they split up. Yeah, they're, they're, they're unfortunate. But they're, hey. Yeah. They but we'll still go on tour. I, I'd yeah. still like to go on tour with uh, Brighton, Brighton, Maine, uh, Lydia Maine. for sure. Any of those bands, they're all great, they're all influencing. So, what was the writing process like for the EP? Uh, Jeremiah does a lot of the writing, like lyrically, and a lot of like just the guitar playing. He comes with us with, I guess, basic, like short ideas. Right. Most of the time, it's me and him, we'll start off with like basically a rhythm or a melody, and we just work from that. Uh, so, what, comes in. what were the influences for the Oh, uh, I. Life. I mean, uh, Life, I, as far as lyrically, uh, you know, <laughs> Tell uh, different life encounters. I, I mean, I write the lyrics and like it's um, it, all my lyrics used to be about like one person, you know. Yeah. Like I mean, I've probably written like 20 songs. We've only had like five of them recorded, but every single one is about that one same person. And this right. one kind of like it's not like dark, you know. It's all happier. It's not so like um, about <laughs> a girl that left you or something. It's yeah. about you know, it's about more happy stuff, you know. Cause I feel like. We are having a lot more fun, you know, like, cause we're on the road a lot more now, and that's, I kind of wanted to show that in the music as well. Yeah. Cool. So we have a few Twitter questions that people sent in, and this one's from at Edith9999. Uh, she wants to know, how do you feel ha to have something I never told you finally on, like, iTunes? Oh. It is. How do you feel? It's on iTunes, Amazon, and Finally. Spotify. No, uh, yeah, no. I'm stoked about it. Yeah, it, honestly, anytime yeah. our music's on anything, like, yeah. I, I trip out. Like, I, I was on Spotify and I saw it, and I was just like, man, when did this happen? This is awesome. <laughs> so, no, it was, it was really cool. You know, as we've been out, uh, this, uh, we haven't came out with any music, music, music like, mm -hmm. recorded, besides on, like, little videos and stuff like that, but it's not produced or anything in, like, two and a half, three years. So, um, We've been writing them for a while, 
and kind of like just making them good enough to put on iTunes, you know. And so when it finally got on iTunes, we were pretty, pretty stoked. Yeah. All right, this one's from BF You Know. My favorite song is Nothing Left to Give. What are your favorite songs to perform? Um, Nothing Left to Give to perform is it's always fun. really cool. It's fun, but uh, it is. Dude, I play it so many times. Um, I like Afraid to Love Again. That one's... Afraid to Love Again, yeah, it's the second one of my favorite ones. Sure. Something I never told you is really cool drum wise. You can go your way. You can go your way. I like all of our new Man, well, I didn't like yeah. them all. What's this, <laughs> I mean, what's this design? Like, which one we don't want? Yeah, yeah let's do it. Besides that. <laughs> and nothing left to give is really fun, you know, to play just because everybody, uh, since our everybody new CD, knows it. Yeah, yeah, since our new CD just came out, mm -hmm. nothing yeah. left to give is also like one that everyone already knows. So. Yeah. And they have more fun. You know, when, the, when they have lot, just as much fun as we have, we have more fun. Yeah. Okay, so this one's from at LOL Bubbles LOL. Jeremiah, you've I've seen you guys play twice, and you're always barefoot. Why? I don't know. <laughs> I don't like shoes in the first place, and um, <laughs> like these are my only shoes I really wear, and they're pretty old, and I can't get rid of them. <laughs> and so, other than that, I don't know. It's just I feel like when I'm in my house and I don't wear anything. Usually when I'm going to Walmart or Whataburger, I don't have anything on. <laughs> I just kind of keep it that way. Grocery store feed. Yeah, grocery store feed. <laughs> yeah. So to wrap things up, uh, where can your fans find you at online? You can find us on uh, Facebook. It's just facebook.com slash Redbox Harbor Music. Uh, Twitter is just at Redbox Harbor. Um, you can go to our website and basically there will direct you everywhere. Yeah, our website's just redboxharbor.net. You, All of our links are on there. Uh, super easy to find. YouTube, Redbox Harbor. So yeah, check it out. Check it, check it. All right. Is there anything else y'all want to say to y'all's fans? Uh, thank y'all so much for letting us do this. We love y'all. Thank you. Yeah, we do. Thank you guys very much.